Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're not. It is currently February of 2022, which is exactly 11 months since we started this loft conversion. We moved in a couple of weeks ago and with some finishing touches, I'm now considering the top floor of our house to be completely done. The way that we went about building this loft is that we did actually get a builder in to come and do the shell. The shell is effectively putting that new story on top and effectively creating the bones. So all of the outside was completely done. The windows were installed, the beams were installed, all of the tiling was done on the outside. And then what was left in the inside was effectively a sealed shell. We have got a video on exactly how much that costs. So I'll link that up here if you are interested. And then everything else we did ourselves. So we built the internal walls, we laid the chipboard for the floor, we installed our own bathroom, all of the kind of decorating and finishing. We did also get a plasterer in to do the plastering. That's one part of decorating that uh, Tom and I just don't trust ourselves in. So if you would like to know the costs from shell to completion, please do just let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to make that video if that's something you're interested in. Today, however, I'll just be taking you on a very casual tour of the loft, just showing you everything we've done, how everything looks in its entirety and in its completion. And just as a nice little way to close off this chapter before we move to the next chapter, which is renovating the entire ground floor of our house, the kitchen, living room, and dining room. So if you'd like to follow along on that journey, please do hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps boost the channel and I will not keep you any longer. This is our finished loft conversion tour. So I guess first up in this tour is uh, just acknowledging we don't yet have carpets in this hallway area. Now the reason that we chose to do this was because in here is our bathroom. This is currently the only bathroom that we've got in the whole house and we are still doing a lot of renovating. So we figured constantly coming up and down these stairs, you know, coming up to shower in filthy clothes probably wouldn't work too well. So we don't have that. However, we do have our finished black banisters, which I am so happy we went for this. I was worried black would be a little bit intimidating, uh, but because of this beautiful skylight up here and all of the light that we get in from the south side of the house, I'm just really happy we went with it. I think it looks amazing. Then, as I just mentioned, the skylight, this, in terms of if I was to do it again, this 100% would stay. Uh, I think the skylight, it brings so much light into the passage, especially considering the passage, as you first come into the house, doesn't have a window at all. The light doesn't obviously make it all the way down, but it adds more light into this downstairs hallway as well as just illuminates the entire loft. So, so happy we did this. I think I'll get a skylight anytime we ever do building ever again. I think it's amazing. And yes, obviously not much to report about. We will still be doing some stuff in terms of making our way up the stairs, but I'm considering, you know, these three rooms, the loft, uh, as part of this tour. And then finally, this wash basket. Obviously this will not be staying forever. This wash basket, as I said, still doing building downstairs. This is exclusively for dusty and dirty clothes so they don't end up in the bedroom or the dressing room or the bathroom. You just strip down, pop them in there before you jump in the shower. And it just means that we're able to nicely separate the building clothes from our actual clothes. Uh, when our actual clothes are dirty, like leaving the house clothes, going to work clothes, they end up in the wash basket in the dressing room, which I'll show you in a sec. So that's basically it for the haul. I mean, there's not anything to show you, but I would just say all of our lights, we went with chrome hardware. All of our switches, we went chrome as well. Uh, personally, I really do love the look of metal over the kind of plastic white stuff. So happy we did that. I won't show you any other rooms, but basically we've got this everywhere. You'll probably notice them as we go through. Now, the dressing room. First thing I wanted to say actually before we even head in is this little space right here is so perfect for doing yoga in the morning because the sun rises, it's a south facing garden, so the sun rises over here, comes all the way here and sets over there. So either I come in at like 7 in the morning and there's a massive pink sky coming in from here or I'm doing it in the evening and there's kind of pink clouds rippling all along there, also, I don't know how well you can see that, but just there's some kind of taller city buildings. And again, those are all illuminated at night. Um, yeah, basically doing yoga facing that window. Love it. As I shut the door and we come in, I'll kind of just give you a spin of the room. So firstly, we've got our shelves. These were just some Ikea Pax shelves that we 
actually they weren't long enough so you can see here we've just cut them to size I was going to fill them to make it look perfect but there is still a bit of movement um, and so I know that the fill filler would just crack so I haven't bothered but basically this is what all of that looks like now for this room I definitely wanted it to look nice but practicality really was the most important thing so although being able to see into these boxes isn't the cutest the fact that this is my makeup and that is my hair stuff and i use it almost every single day means i just wanted something i could put my hand into just got some decenio prints up there um as i said in here is makeup my actual makeup bag is in my work bag at the moment which is why there's not much in there this is just a little jewelry pot with my jewelry. Got a white company candle, got a little fake plant, and just hair stuff, as well as body moisturizer in here, just as I get out the shower. I come and moisturize my body first thing. As I've got my hair uh, products here, I also do have my straightener and my hair dryer down there. Again, it's not the most beautiful. You can see the cords, but I use it constantly. Um, and I know visually, you know, putting this lid back on, putting the cords in would look better, but at some point I care about practicality. This here is my little stool. So this actually comes here, just over here when I'm getting ready. Uh, but to check outfits, put my shoes on, get an idea of how I look before I go out, I actually do just chuck this onto the shelf in here again. It doesn't look the best, it is sticking out, but it does just make space and it means that I can kind of see myself in the mirror as I get ready, which is pretty cool. I did show this a couple of videos back in my kind of Facebook marketplace finds. Uh, this was one of them. I am still so happy we've got this. Obviously, it does take out a pretty big chunk of space, but uh, in terms of getting ready, I've never kind of, you know, had quite so much uh, mirror before which I think is really cool. We then spin over to this side So I have now Finished with these drawers again. It's nothing fancy I don't want to spend my entire life dusting, but I'll take you through them one by one We've got first up a print and another print up here both from Decenio I kept the black frames to tie in nicely with the black handles here Just got a little plant over here. This is real. Uh, I don't know what plant this is called, but this is the third one of these I've had in my entire life. They are impossible to kill. They're absolutely amazing. And then I do just leave my fragrances out. Uh, otherwise, I forget to put them on. Now, all of these, as you can see, are from the Essence Vault. If you don't know about the Essence Vault, they're brilliant. Uh, they basically create dupes of actual fragrances at much, much cheaper. So we've got, I believe this is the mock of the Jo Malone pomegranate. This is Alien. Uh, they're yeah, very handy. I think all three of those were 50 pounds or something crazy, so very good. Moving up to here, uh, this is Tom's fragrance again, so he remembers. We just got a vase from Ikea. We've got this, which I think is really cool. I don't know if you can see it so well, but it's just a woman's figure, um, which is really cool. Found this in Primark, funnily enough, which was a steal. And then also uh, this cotton diffuser from Primark. And I've just got this lamp here, which is from Facebook Marketplace as well. Although this room is really nice and bright um, all day, when I am getting ready in the evening, it's quite nice to have that light there because it's a much kind of calmer, nicer, more muted feeling. Um, these spotlights can be pretty intense. So it's nice to have that when we're trying to wind down after a shower before bed. And then twisting the whole way, uh, I'll put the link in the corner over here if you've not seen the video. We spent a lot of time making these IKEA PAX built-in hack wardrobes. Um, again, I'm so, so happy with what we did with them. We have basically got all of Tom's stuff in this side. We have got coats in this side. Uh, it's not very full at the moment. All of our winter coats, well, most of our winter coats are actually still boxed up. This doesn't have a handle, but we actually have got them. I'm gonna be putting that on this weekend, so then these will be absolutely complete. And then this is just my side over here. So boxes for storage, my hanging stuff, shoes, uh, jumpers, and then actually another thing of shoes down there. Something I did wanna show you, which uh, isn't <laughs> that crazy, but I think it's really cool. This 
is my box of lost socks. So this is every single sock that comes out of the wash that is clean and I can't find a matching sock for it. So what I actually do is when I'm putting away my clean washing, I'll get this box back up and it gives me a chance to run through all of my loose socks before um, I deem it lost forever. And we've managed to uh, match up quite a few pairs of socks that lost each other along the way. So, you know, just great ending to the story for all involved. And then there's still a lot of question marks about this uh, <laughs> this little section over here. Right now, I've basically just got my everyday bags. I don't know if you can actually see this at all with the coloring, but these are the bags I use almost every single day. Obviously not my work bag. This is just an empty thing at the moment. I've not actually found much to store in here. And then this is just our laundry basket. Now our laundry basket was originally in here, but I am planning on adding a little bit of shelves for some more clothes storage. This is just temporary. I am going to probably be sewing something ourselves. I think I might cut this open, keep this because it fits so perfectly, but I do want to get um, a sort of linen material that's a little bit closer in this color. So it looks uh, a little bit more planned, uh, but that is it um, in this corner over here. Something I also wanted to show you actually was we did think about sealing these wardrobes, closing it at the top here, so adding a bit of MDF running all the way down and then painting it the same as the wardrobes to give it that built-in feel. But once we realized we could actually just hide our ironing board up there, we decided to leave it as is. In terms of this room, as I've already said, um, I did want it to feel really calm and just somewhere to either get ready in the morning, be really excited for the day, find an outfit I love, or somewhere to really wind down in the evening after my shower. I think we really do have this. I'm so, so happy with the way it's turned out. But then in the same breath, I wanted it to be very, very practical. I didn't want, you know, to have pretty boxes in the background where I had to keep taking the lid off. Um, you know, I, I just wanted things to be accessible, the things I use every day to easily be there, even if it means compromising on, um, you know, potentially not the most aesthetic uh, layout possible. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm, Having this space really has just been so beneficial. I think I'm really intentional when I'm in this room, you know, I'm putting my clothes away as they come out of the dryer or as I take them off the line. If I try an outfit on and I decide that's not the outfit for me, I'll actually put those clothes back instead of just leaving them on the floor while I find another outfit. It's really, really simple stuff that I probably should have learned 10 years ago, but um, it just feels really nice to have a space I'm really proud of and I want to keep clean. So this has been very cool. I'm so happy with this room. I think it's done. I mean, I don't want to make it any busier. I don't, the fact is we're just here to get ready. So I don't really see the need to add loads and loads and loads of stuff. Um, and I want to keep it quite nice and simple because, you know, we're in here for the clothes, nothing else. We don't really hang out in this room. So that is it. That is the dressing room. Let me take you through to the bathroom. And then coming into the bathroom. So again, I will link our bathroom tour just over here. If you hadn't yet seen it, that's got a breakdown in pricing, everything, etc. Not much has actually changed since we initially moved in here. In fact, I don't think anything has changed. But I can talk you through things that we've learned uh, since we moved into this bathroom uh, a few months ago now, probably four months or so. So first things first, this is all of the storage that we've got, uh, which I'm probably going to regret showing you this, but it's, uh, well, that side looks pretty good. This is getting pretty full, as you can see. I um, am a big fan of buying shampoo, conditioner, and body wash before we're anywhere near running out of our current ones. So I'm slowly making my way through that. But not having very much storage just presented a little bit of an issue um, in terms of not wanting to pile up toilet paper here or make it look ugly. So what I've now got is one of these sacks just from Ikea behind the door. So I'll usually keep four or five extra bits of loo roll in there and uh, it's nicely put away. And obviously when the door's open, you don't even see it. And if you realize you run out of toilet paper, luckily, or hopefully, you've shut the door. And so you would always know it's just over there, which is good. Shower here, still going really well. I uh, absolutely love the shower. I would fully recommend it. Only issue I've seen with the shower so far is that water actually does come through and out the side. I mean, obviously not when you're showering because you never have water pointed there, but more so when I'm cleaning the shower doors or anything. But it's a very, very small price to pay for the shower that I love. Um, again, what have we learned so far? I do love a niche. It's very easy to get dirty. I feel like there's just constantly yellow 
stains on here or you know this kind of stuff has dripped down so it is a little bit of an annoyance to keep clean but I much prefer it to you know having to stick something on there or hang something off of here which would present its own problems so still happy we did it definitely still gonna do it in every bathroom that I build and then here just in case you didn't know about this company I wanted to mention it this is a hey Estrid razor um, again Perfect that it doesn't just sit here gathering water and getting rusty comes with its own little storage thing It's a subscription service So I think every three months or so they send me a bunch of new blades and you can get loads of colors You can decide um, honestly the best razors I've ever used so little Side point there, but if anyone was in the market for razors and the only other thing worth pointing out is we did realize pretty quickly that the fact that the door goes straight onto the shower door meant that we didn't have much space for a big shower mat. So this is actually currently a shower mat folded in, I think, half and then a third has been taken off the end. Uh, but we're just using this temporarily. I am in the market for a small bath mat, but that's what we're using so far. And then final learning is uh, this black radiator. It's beautiful, I love it, it's perfect for the space. Uh, the door literally comes to here, which is brilliant. However, even though it is just me and Tom using one shower rail, you run out of space after one towel. And also my absolute biggest pet peeve is when towels don't dry properly or when towels smell even the tiniest bit like they've not dried perfectly. So I would never dream of folding up my towel to let it dry. So what that basically means is that we just end up hanging our towels over there and then once they're dry, bringing them back here. So I don't know if anyone has any solution for this. It's definitely a very small problem, but um, yeah, something I can't really understand for what we're gonna do for the downstairs bathroom. Yeah, that's kind of the only annoyance so far. Uh, but everything else I'm really happy with. Again, I haven't spent too long talking you through this bathroom um, There is a video if you did want to see a kind of full tour a breakdown of everything where we bought from how much it cost That does exist uh, But yeah, just wanted to give you kind of my refreshed thoughts on the bathroom and if we had any regrets anything We're really happy we did so I hope that was helpful and now finally and my favorite the bedroom so walking into the room of course the first thing you see is our bed. Now, this bed, I could not be more happy with. It's a king size. We have never slept in a king size before. Tom is six foot four. He takes up a lot of space. So I'm really happy with that. And um, the mattress, honestly the best mattress I've had in my entire life. I'm so glad we bought it. It's the Simba Ultra Pro or something. I'll link it in the description below if you were interested in looking into it. Honestly, it feels like you're in a hotel. It's soft, but I can still sleep on my stomach without it hurting my back. It's hard enough. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, this isn't a mattress ad, so let me carry on. But so happy with that. Behind me, we've obviously got the lights and the bedside tables. Let me show you that. So this is Tom's side. In last week's video, I did show you me giving these a stain to try and get them as similar to the bed as possible. I think we've nailed it. I'm so, so happy with these. Um, yeah, I just think, again, Tom's already making a mess. <laughs> um, I think it looks great. These lights were a tenner on Amazon, which is amazing. And uh, again, I think they're not perfect, but you really can't notice that they're slightly different from afar. And uh, yeah, I love these. They have a really beautiful warm light. They obviously didn't come with the bulbs, uh, but they have a really, really warm light. And it's so nice just to have something that's not, again, <laughs> these very harsh overhead lights at, in the evening when you're reading or trying to kind of wind down. I'll just take you over to my side and what I have is whatever book I'm reading at the time right now is Conversations on Love and I also have a big pot of Vaseline. This is the only thing that keeps my lips soft. I either this or Burt's Bees so I keep the little Burt's Bees in my bag but I've had this honestly for about 10 years that's probably disgusting but uh Put it on every night and every morning. Here I have just got hand cream from, I don't even know where I got this, I just picked it up. Oh, from Arquette. And then here is a lavender essential oil. This stuff is amazing. Before bed, I will just put it on my temples, put it in my palm, and then just do a few deep breaths, warm it up, and then just And 
And that, in terms of getting you sleepy or calming you down, oof, it's so, so nice. So another thing I would really, really recommend. So here's the chest of drawers. As you can see, we've got a big, I believe this is a fig leaf tree. Our friends actually got this for us as a little housewarming present when we first moved in uh, about six months ago now. So that's going really strong. Got this huge print. This is 100 centimeters by 70 centimeters from, again, Decenio. And then the chest of drawers is another Facebook Marketplace find that I spoke about in a video a couple of videos back. In terms of topping it, we've got this Marshall speaker. This is one of my most prized possessions. My friends all got it for me for my 21st birthday. We used to all chip in on the year that we turned 21 so everyone could get one nice present um, from like 10 of us together. This, I don't know, this, I've got so many good memories about this. It's still going strong. I love it. It's gone to every house I've ever lived in. Um, and yeah, I just love it so much. It just reminds me of being young. These are some very fake and I would almost say tacky plants from Ikea. All I've done is I actually used some old sample paints and uh, just painted them, letting them drip down. It just used to be kind of a white plastic thing. Um, and I just try to give it a little bit more texture as well as bring in some earth tones, which I thought was kind of cute. Then just got a candle from Fox and Ivy. Again, this was just a gift from a friend for my birthday. It smells so, so good. Um, it honestly is one of the best smelling candles I've had, actually. I love pomegranate. Same as in the dressing room, the um, Jo Malone pomegranate. This is just such a good smell. And then another present from a friend. Um, I actually got this for my birthday this year. And it is Live Beautiful by Athena Calderon. Now, this is definitely going to become a coffee table book. Um, I will get something else for up here. I haven't even opened it. Um, not because I don't want to, I cannot wait to run through this. We just had never previously lived in an area that didn't have dust. And so I really, really didn't want to ruin the book and get it dirty. So now that it's here, I will be opening it. Um, this is a dust free zone and I'm so excited to have it and then move it downstairs when it's time. This here is a return. Uh, it was originally going to be my stool in the dressing room. I was going to just paint the bottom bits black. Uh, to match with the hardware, but I actually do much prefer the other one that I got. So this is just here to rem remind me to take it back. Uh, that's the Hoover that will be living downstairs when downstairs is done, but it's just handy to keep here now. And then the chest of drawers, um, I did say last time, top drawer is gym stuff, and then below that is kind of PJs and comfy tops to sleep in. I am very happy to report that the gym stuff in the top drawer has actually worked. Tom and I have been going to gym four days a week before work, get up at seven, head straight there. And uh, yeah, it's working very well. We're very happy. We're also feeling good because we did not exercise for, I wanna say a solid year. We'd have, you know, the odd session here and there, but doing up the house, we were just so busy. We didn't find time to go, but now that we're forcing ourselves to do it first thing in the morning, we never renovate at 7 a.m. There's no reason we can't be out of bed at 7 a.m. So we've been doing that pretty consistently, feeling really good. And then in terms of the print over here, if I spin you around, we now have a little bit of a gallery wall to finish. Um, you can actually see that that print over there is the sister print of this one. Uh, kind of desert vibes, I love it. Again, in this room, I wanted everything to be very minimal. As you can see, we don't have much furniture. Not too many pillows, not a throw. This is literally somewhere I come to either read or sleep. We do have a laptop there, or watch The Office, let's let's be honest. But I just didn't want too much fluff, too much faff. We will not be having a TV there. There won't be a TV up here. Um, we just don't need one. And so yeah, I wanted to continue the theme of very calm uh, throughout the room. So again, we've got a beautiful kind of sea view here, exactly the same over here. Kind of reminded me of Ibiza, the kind of rocky beaches. Uh, which I quite liked, so thought we'd continue that. And then we've got some lovely canyon, <laughs> uh, which I think, again, just continued the browns and sandy colours and earth tones, both in here and rocks there and there. So yeah, I think that's come together pretty nicely. The only final thing is the eaves, and the eaves are not done yet. They've not had the carpet lay, but we have actually started putting random stuff in there. So we went away recently. Once we came back, it was just so good to be able to put our backpacks into there. 
Um, we've got kind of old boxes that are still in warranty, so if we ever did need to return something, we want to keep them. You know what eaves are for, but yeah, it's not done yet, and so it's just a temporary thing right now. We'll pull all that stuff out when the carpet fitters come back, and they'll finish laying the carpet in there with the offcuts that they get from doing the floors below. So, the loft, it's pretty much done. I mean, we don't have the carpet out in the hallway, but as soon as that is done, it's 100% complete. We are so happy with the way it turned out. I realized that there's kind of not a theme that's following, like we're not keeping these earth tones and the browns and the rattan in the dressing room, but I really don't have a problem with there not being a common theme around my house. I like doing different things in different rooms. I like that everything about this room to me is just calm and serene. I honestly think subconsciously I get sleepier when I come into this room and I think it's because I've set everything up to be conducive to a good night's sleep. We've got the most warm lamps. We've got complete blackout blinds. I don't even need my little cat nap, cat eye mask anymore. There's no TV, it's all about books. I've got the lavender, we've got calming stuff in the distance. And then I like how the dressing room's a little bit more chic. We've got the kind of purples and grazes. It's a little bit more modern. We've got the black hardware. But I think that, again, just puts me in the right frame of mind to try and come up with, you know, cool outfits. If I was getting in this room, I'd probably lean more towards kind of boho dresses. I am probably talking up my ass right now but this is my vision and uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. All of the rooms again completely transform at night. Um, it's so bright and lovely up here all day and then in the evening through all of the lamps and kind of the soft touches it becomes super cozy and calm like the perfect place just to wind down. Basically life is very very good right now and we can't wait to continue finishing rooms Downstairs, we've got the spare room, the study, the other bathroom, and then below that, which is what's coming up next, the lounge, diner, and kitchen. So, if you'd like to be around for those renovations, please hit the subscribe button. We upload videos every single Wednesday, where you can follow us finishing this little East London Victorian terraced house. And if you've enjoyed this video, or you've liked following us along so far, and finally getting to see what the finished product looks like, give us a like. It really helps support the channel. And that is it for this week. Thank you so much for all of your support, all of your advice, everything you've offered us throughout this journey. I'm so, so happy to be able to show you a finished space and to take you along with whatever comes next. So thank you as always for watching. I'll see you next Wednesday. Goodbye.